All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Ben. This is James. Today we are on an adventure to upgrade my garden slightly. Uh, I have a gardening table that I plant seedlings out on. Um, I haven't used this much this year, but we are getting into fall and winter. And the project for today is building a water catchment system. James is gonna help me do it. James, do you have any thoughts on this? Um, yeah, I think it'll be good. It'll um, save you from using tap water. Yeah, and I mean, well, and there's a lot of people that live like here in town. Yeah. That water their garden. It, that's expensive. It's expensive. You know. Your garden, yeah. So I mean, if you do the rainwater catch system, it's gravity fed, and you've you've got that. Yeah. Now that it's the middle of September, we're going to be looking into winter crops. Winter crops. So your brassicas. I think kale fits in that family. Broccoli fits in that family. Charred. Cauliflower, chard. Um, Things that don't require a lot of work. That don't require a lot of sunlight and don't mind the cold. Now, here in Virginia, where we live, it could be... I mean, it's... What Tropical it? summers and Arctic winters. It's 90, <laughs> it's 90 degrees outside. And, and it's fall. It's the third week of September. But next week, it'll be 60 degrees. So next week, it'll so. be 60 degrees. And also, these plants don't mind, like, a nice frost cold snap. They don't mind that at all. You can actually get through it. Um, so it's going to be a very sort of... Yeah, hopefully mildly educational, but mostly it's just going to be us making things up along the way as we usually do. We've got the rain barrel. It's got a hose attachment on it. Now I need to figure out how to get water from the roof into the barrel. And so it shouldn't be that difficult, but I didn't feel like spending sort of anywhere from $50 to $100 to get this done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the big blue box store. We're going to look at some seeds and we're gonna look into the guttering system and see if I can basically just modify the gutters myself so that we can get we can get the water from the roof. Cool beans. Cool. Alright. So we went to the big blue home improvement store. What'd you buy? I bought 10 foot of downspout gutter whatever that stuff is called. Currently hanging out of the back of the truck. It's currently hanging out of the back of the truck. Um, I bought like a downspout connector that goes into the gutter so the water can actually go down. And I bought like a 45 degree angle so that it doesn't just run down into it, it actually like pours into the barrel so that I don't have to have as much of a piece running down into it. Um, Smart. Yeah, but all of that cost me like 15 bucks, maybe $20 kit that you can buy from the South American Rainforest Company. <laughs> um, Did you say it was like, like 100? It's, it's like you can buy sort of the connector thing, but then you've got to do like just as much work as I'm going to do. And those start at $30. So I'm already at 50% off. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then if I wanted to get my own rain barrel with, like the rain barrel started at $100. Yeah. For a little bit. <laughs> Put it somewhere safe and uh, and put this up on the patio so I can have a rain barrel. It'll make it a lot easier when it comes to watering plants. I'm not going to be using electricity. I'm not going to be using well water. Um, it doesn't have to go through any sort of softener. So it's just going to be basically as, as natural and as well used as, as anything else on the property. So I'm going to try not to get tetanus. So I want the spout to come down just about here. Got to cut out enough space for this guy. Hopefully it fits. This is for PVC. This is plastic guttering, whereas this is aluminum. That feels sturdy. So hopefully it'll just fit right in there. And then basically just do a straight line, put a couple of drill holes in, and it'll go straight down into my water tank. So let me... Dumb hole. Yeah, this definitely isn't gonna work because it's a different size. No, it's the right. Yeah, it's a different size gutter. So I've got to go back and get the big aluminum gutter. So that's fun. 
I say fifteen dollars, but I have to probably spend another three dollars in gas. So. I think we've got everything. Put them the floor. And this just slides right in as soon as I cut those pieces out. This is the last tool I'm getting. Yeah, that's a small one. <laughs> Cut made, so it looks like I'll be running to Lowe's. But my hey guys, today had a pretty demoralizing start. Today has been a pretty demoralizing day. Uh, just long. It's just been a long day. Um, third trip to the Blue Home Improvement Store uh, to finally get the right pieces kind of so this does this connects to the big gutters but I'm gonna try to see if I can cut it down and modify it what's happening It doesn't, it's not gonna fit again. All right, so, all right. Totally demoralized. I went back to Lowe's and bought a second gutter piece, but it ended up being the same size as the first gutter piece, just the downspout size was bigger. So I'm just gonna mod the crap out of this. I've got three four inch wide tape. I know it will do the trick. I need a taller ladder. I'm gonna go get a taller ladder. finally up. It took two days, a lot more energy than I anticipated, a lot more money than I anticipated, um, and I'm not even sure it'll do the job. And it's not supposed to rain for two weeks, so I'm not going to find out for two weeks. I can take the hose, and I can squirt the hose up on the roof to see if it works, but that would sort of defeat the purpose of catching rain. So I'm just going to wait for it to rain. Hopefully, I'm here when it rains, and we can see if this works firsthand. So it is raining right now. I wouldn't say too hard, but hard enough. Um, the water barrel is working. As you can tell, water is flowing from the drain into the water barrel. Right? 
I mean, I'm not gonna water the plants right now because they're obviously being watered by the rain. So I'm very excited that this is working. And hopefully, in the next few days, I'll be using it nonstop. 55 gallons, it's got about 30 gallons in it right now exactly. I need to figure out how I'm gonna divert the water, but I'm not really too worried about it. I might just open up the bottom spigot and let it drain out, but water barrel works. Go team. When we just, <laughs> and when we shut down this YouTube channel, it'll just be us making spaghetti again, but it'll be sad. It'll be we'll sad. all be dying.